Life Water Contamination Even if my word is repeatedly conveyed to you in all purity, it will always be watered down, because this word of mine enters an area where the adversary asserts himself, where the human being's will determines himself and this will is even more inclined towards the adversary than towards me. Consider that truth is something divine but that the divine will never prevail against the satanic because this would be equal to compulsion which, however, is completely excluded from my side. But the satanic still rules the world, that is the people of this earth, and thus it is easy to explain that pure truth is always opposed and that the resistance also consists of clouding everything clear, of contaminating everything pure. And thus it should not be surprising that truth does not remain as pure for long as it originated from me, just as a drop of poison is enough to make a whole vessel of purest water unfit and dangerous, but pure water will not cancel its effect. And so I only warn again and again to drink far away from the source. Only at the source are you safe, only at the source do you receive healthy, pure water of life, and only at the source do you not need to fear any harmful admixture which, however, will always be contained in the water the more it distances itself from the source. If the riverbed is guarded with great care, the water can remain pure for longer and retain its inherent vitality, but even the slightest carelessness allows contamination, and it is then difficult to restore the old condition which guarantees healthy, clear water of life. I only want to say that everyone who wants to become healthy and attain the right life for his soul should go to the spring, and that I therefore always open a spring again because you humans should attain life. And you can be grateful when such a fountain of life is at your disposal. But I would also like to warn you to dig a well on your own authority of which you don't know whether it will let healthy water flow forth whereby I would like to warn those people who were not called by me but who call themselves to distribute teaching material which did not come to them from me. I would like to warn those who set themselves a task and are unable to accomplish it, but who present themselves as called by God and place themselves far more at my adversary's disposal than at mine. You humans are unaware of the dangers which surround you, yet wherever the slightest ambitious thought arises in a person this danger will be drawn upon. And every person should seriously account for the motive which drives him to engage in spiritual work. How many people want to gain recognition for themselves, how many again seek to imitate others in order to be considered gifted, but how few are driven by pure, unselfish love for me, in recognition of guilt and weakness, which makes them deeply humble. And only such can I use for such a significant mission as this, to receive my pure word and to convey it to their fellow human beings. For only these can be called the source which I myself open up for people, from which they may draw the pure water of life at any time. And for such a mission I have also chosen suitable vessels for myself, and thus I have trained people for myself. They have already faithfully passed through a school of teaching which allowed them to mature because I well recognized how their soul was shaped by it, but without forcing them, for they could also have resisted any spiritual activity at any time. But they could also become suitable rocks which I only had to touch with my rod so that they opened and delicious water of life flowed out of them. But then it is also guaranteed that such a spring of life will be protected by me from all contamination and that everyone who draws from it will consume a true drink of life. But just as people build artificial wells for themselves which do not always guarantee pure good water, so too there are people who want to feign a genuine spring, who use artificial means. 
who are intellectually active themselves and in the best case can also offer their fellow human beings a potion which, however, can never be compared in its effectiveness to that which flows from my natural spring. And thus you can only ever receive the warning to take food and drink whose giver is unknown to you. You can only ever be admonished to take the path to the source of life. To come to me myself and request the right food and the right drink from me, and I will truly lead you to the right source, and the water of life will refresh and revive you on your path through life. Amen.